welcome back to a new vlog so as you can tell by my little montage this morning we're doing a self-care day and i haven't done one of these in a really long time today's sunday so it's gonna be a sunday self-care day and i don't know i just i guess i've been busy or i haven't really prior prioritized my self-care i do little things here and there like go get my nails done which i did actually a few days ago i didn't vlog that but i did that for a wedding i went to but yeah i do things here and there to kind of like do like self-care but um, I haven't filmed a like, full video on it, so I figured it might be nice to do a little fall self-care. I'm gonna use today to like fully reset and also do some self-care because I usually do my resets on Mondays and by reset I mean like go to the grocery store and kind of clean up a little bit, change my bed sheets, but I kind of want to do it today um, just so I can get ready for my week. Today I woke up, brushed my teeth, drank water, and then I just went straight to the gym. I just did the bike for 30 minutes. So I just did cardio today. My agenda is to run out and do some little errands, some shopping. I wanna go to Marshalls, Target, and Trader Joe's. And the last time I went to Trader Joe's, I didn't see any like fall, like they have the seasonal fall foods and snacks and goodies like that. I didn't see any last time. I think it's cause I went like, at the end of August, so they didn't have it yet. So I wanna go back today and see if we can find stuff for you guys because I've been seeing other people go to Trader Joe's and find a lot of pumpkin stuff and you know stuff for fall. So I want to get some stuff. I love days like this because I just feel like it is so necessary to reset your body and whatever that means for you, whether it means staying off social media, I'm gonna try to stay off my phone today and you know just kind of being with yourself and like just listening to your mind and like you know kind of talking to yourself and saying you know okay what do we need to do today to get back to where um we can perform better be a better person feel better physically and mentally i'll show you guys the skincare i use it's pretty much the same as the last time i showed my skincare routine but i used a couple of different products these are all the products i used this morning i use a lot of the tula stuff i showed in my last uh the last time i showed you guys my morning skincare routine so i use the tula eye balm the 24 hour power swipe hydrating night and day balm this is the best stuff keeps my eyes so hydrated and then we also did the weekend glow daily brightening solution toner by verse this just helps give a nice brightening solution and i like the whole like weekend glow thing going on it's the weekend i want to look glowy and then for moisturizer i use the elta md am therapy this helps to moisturize and smooth your skin leaves it looking nice and smooth all day long and i finish off with the tula protect and glow spf my absolute favorite it makes your skin feel so glowy and since we're going outside today i definitely needed spf on my skin and then we finished off with the antioxidant water purifying toner face mist this is probiotic and it also has superfoods so this helps to like also protect from the blue lights from like computers and your phones the tvs whatever all that screen stuff um so yeah that's all i use today so i'm gonna go get dressed now and then i think we're just gonna head out so i'll see you guys wherever i am out there okay just kidding first i'm going to eat breakfast sorry you can't see my face but I made a really random breakfast because I literally am running out of groceries. That's why I desperately need to go to Trader Joe's today. But I made a bagel thin. One of them has cream cheese, strawberry cream cheese. The other one has just a plain fried egg. No avocado. I ran out of avocados. So I need to go get some more today. And I put cheese on it, sriracha, everything with the bagel. We got some tomatoes and I got some turkey bacon. So super random mix of flavors, but that's okay. And then I also have my chlorophyll water. But anyway, okay, I'm gonna go eat my breakfast really quick and then I need to take my vitamins too and then we'll head out. So a slight change of plans. I just realized that one of my headlights is out. So that sucks. <laughs> but I have to go change the headlight now. Um, so right now I'm on my way to my parents' house actually because my dad's gonna come with me to help me because your girl does not know how to change a headlight. Um, he's gonna come with me to AutoZone to get the light bulb and hopefully he can help me fix it um or maybe we can get someone at the auto zone to help us change it but yes car problems i mean that's not really a problem it's just the headlight but i don't know i get i get anxiety when i have problems with my car my air tire pressure was also low so i actually just went and i filled that i know how to fill my tires so that's nice my apartment actually has a free air pump for tires so that's really nice so i just did that um and yeah, I guess we're doing a little car self-care today too. I want to get a car wash also. So we're going to go change the headlight and then I'll go get a car wash after. And then I'll do all the other stuff that I was planning on doing. But I figured I would just get this out of the way so I don't have my groceries rotting in my car. Uh, 
Okay, you guys, it is about an hour later. I just got my car headlight fixed and I went to the car wash. Now I'm at Target because I have some things I need to pick up and what is self-care day without going to Target and TJ Maxx is right next door to it, so we're going there. I was gonna go to Marshalls, but Marshalls is kind of out of the way and I just don't feel like driving today. I'm a little bit lazy to be quite honest, so I think I'm just gonna go here to these two stores and then we're gonna go home and just relax because I can only shop for a certain amount of time. I, I think my limit is like an hour and then after that I am just t done, I'm tired. I wanna go home, I really don't enjoy like going to stores to shop anymore um, unless I'm really actually searching for something and I need something. Um, you know, I love to online shop, I think we all do. So maybe we'll do online shopping today. But yeah, we're here and I'm gonna go pick up some essentials and we'll see what's new at Target. Okay guys, I am back from all of my errands. We went to a bunch of different places. Like I was kind of out all day, but you know, it was fun. I went to Target, TJ Maxx, Trader Joe's, all my favorite places. So I'll show you guys right now what I got from Trader Joe's. So I got my sparkling water. I always get the blueberry lemonade. I got water, this is actually from Target, but I needed to get more water. And then we got some floral arrangements. So I know that I got those like fake ones over there that I showed you guys in my Amazon home video, but I wanted some fresh ones for the centerpiece, this little island um, tray thingy here on the kitchen counter. So we got some baby's breaths, we got some greens. I don't know what these are called. It just said premium assorted greens. They were only $3.99 at Trader Joe's, all of these were. And then I also got these ones. I think these are, yeah, these are eucalyptus. I thought the fresh eucalyptus looked really pretty. So I'm gonna put these all together, make a little arrangement for the kitchen. And then for food, we got some of the usual stuff like my turkey breast for sandwiches. I also got the cauliflower thins again. I haven't gotten these in so long, like maybe over a year, but I want these for my avocado toast. And just got some butter and also cream cheese. You need to restock on both of those. And okay, so we did find a lot of fun pumpkin things. So the pumpkin spice La Colombe draft lattes are back. I got these last fall and they're so, so good. Anto wanted chicken Alfredo for dinner. So I was actually gonna cook it from scratch, but then I saw this and I was like, wait a minute, let me just get this because it probably is so good and it'll just be so easy to heat up. So we're gonna make that for dinner tonight. And then we also got some new frozen things that I've never gotten before, but I got the French onion soup. It comes with two of them, and we love French onion soup, so maybe one day, maybe like for an appetizer, ooh, we can like have that in the pasta. Me and Anto can eat that. And then I also got, okay, we got a pumpkin item, mini spicy pumpkin samosas. I love, love, love samosas. That's like my favorite food. I love Indian food, so I thought that would be so good, because pumpkin with like the spiciness, Ooh, that's probably so good. Maybe I'll try that tonight, too. And another pumpkin thing, pumpkin empanadas. I don't know how this is going to taste because it doesn't have anything else except pumpkin, I believe. But I don't know. Empanadas are good. I just feel like this is going to be good, too. Another frozen food, chicken chow mein, low fat. And again, another frozen food. This is something that I've never tried before. It's the spinach and artichoke dip. You just, like, warm it up. I guess in the microwave. And I have some chips left over from last Sunday when I made buffalo chicken dip, so maybe we can try that out too. And then we got some pesto for my sandwiches. And then in the last bag, we have another new fall item. This is maple and sea salt kettle corn. I love, love, love kettle chips and kettle corn. And it's maple flavored. That's probably so good. It's also gluten free, so that's nice. I also got the elote corn chips. I haven't gotten these again in so, so long, but I kind of was just craving them when I saw them, so I wanted to pick those up. And then we got some 
arugula, another pumpkin item. It's pumpkin blonde brownies. I love blonde brownies. I'm sure this will be delish. So I just wanted to try that out. And then we got just some random basic produce. I got tomatoes, onion, garlic, Brussels sprouts, and last, but of course not least, avocados. So, yep, that's all I picked up from Trader Joe's. So I'm going to put this away, and then I'll show you guys what I got from Target and TJ Maxx after. So I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm going to be making a Hello Fresh meal. I've talked about them, like, many times before because I really love this meal delivery service. Thank you, Hello Fresh, for sponsoring this video. So if you guys are not familiar with Hello Fresh, it's, like I said, a meal delivery service. And these meals come freshly delivered straight to your door, and you can choose any meal you want they have so many different options they have a lot of healthy options they have vegetarian I personally get the calorie smart box every single time all the meals are pretty much under 700 calories so I'm gonna make this one for lunch this is the pecan crusted chicken a lot of you guys in my um, Instagram DM said that this one was really good because I actually made another one for dinner a few nights ago I made the creamy chai chicken this one was amazing everything you need for each meal is going to be in the bag and literally has every ingredient you need aside from like salt and pepper like I think most people have that but it's really nice and convenient because you know if I miss an ingredient for something I'm trying to cook I don't have to run out to the grocery store everything you need is in this bag so this is great for your busy work week or if you have kids they also have um, like four people meals so I get the two people meal because it's just me and Anto but if you have a family you can get the four person meal and it's just really convenient you don't have to go grocery shopping you get everything delivered right to your door it also saves me time when I'm like trying to prepare foods that I want to cook for the week instead of thinking of what should I cook this week what do I need to buy from the grocery store this week I have my meals ready to go I have everything right here all I have to do is prepare it and it comes with instructions on the back super easy to follow when I first started learning how to cook this was like my go-to savior so if you want to learn how to cook and just you know get a little bit more experience then this is a really great option so of course I have a code for you guys to save some money so you can use my code srose14 to get up to 14 free meals across your five boxes with HelloFresh so you can visit the link in my description to learn more details and my code will also be in the description at as well. Okay guys, hi. So I wanted to share what I picked up from, oh my god, I'm just now looking in the review binder. My closet is such a mess because if you guys watch my closet cleanup video, I had all those trash bags full of clothes for Poshmark. They're literally falling out of the closet. I'm gonna have to um, clean that up later. So yes, I wanna show you guys what I got from a TJ Maxx and also a Target, the bag broke, but I found some good stuff at both. So from Target, I really wanted to um, try out some new makeup and see what's new, or maybe not what's new. I think these products are old, but it's been a really long time since I bought drugstore makeup. So I really wanted to try some things out from these two brands that I love so much. So the first couple things I got are from Milani. So I got the Glow Hydrating Skin Tint in light to medium. I hope this is my skin tone. Maybe now because I'm not so tan anymore, it'll be okay. But it has 29% squalane. That's really good for your skin. It has electrolyte, coconut water blend, and all that good stuff. So it's just a luminous skin tint. So I kind of want to wear this on days where I don't want to wear like heavy foundation. And I'm really getting into skin tints. I have the um, Fenty one and I really like that one because it really provides good coverage. But it doesn't like, you know, it kind of looks natural, more natural than caking on foundation. I won't put it all over my face, but I'll just do like a little swatch. It blends in nicely, I think. Like you can't even tell, can you? Maybe you can, I don't know. It does smell like coconut too. I feel like this would have been really nice in the summertime. Um, Cause skin tints are really good for summertime because you're gonna be sweating a lot and you definitely don't wanna wear like a full face of makeup in the summer. So yeah, I like that, that's nice. And then the other thing I got is a blush. The color is 110, 110, nude kiss. Gorgeous. Is this a cream blush? Yeah, so this is a cream blush. What that looks like. Nice and natural. I really like natural blushes. So 
okay we got those two from milani and then i got a few products from makeup revolution london i absolutely love this brand and i have their concealer it's like their cult classic concealer that is the best concealer i've ever used so i use it all the time so i wanted to try other products from their line so i got the glass shimmer fix iridescent fixing spray so it's like a setting spray for after your makeup but it's supposed to give you a nice like shine and dewy finish super iridescent that's not just the bottle design like the actual solution the liquid is like that color i also picked up the ultra matte bronzer this pretty packaging it's so big so i feel like you get a lot of product that looks really dark that might be nice for contouring i feel like that might be too dark my skin tone it won't even focus yeah, that might be too dark for me. I might have to exchange this. Anyway, so I got that. And then the last thing I got is a lip gloss. It is called Pout Bomb Plumping Lip Gloss. It has vitamin E. That's going to be so nice for the fall. I hope it's focusing. Maybe I'll try a little bit on right now just to see. It smells like toothpaste. Okay, I don't think this looks good because my face is so pale. Maybe I'll try this another day when I actually have makeup on, but... I thought it was a pretty color, so yes, that is all of the makeup I got. I also picked up a couple of random things. I got some pumpkin cookie mix because it's fall time, guys, and I want to make some pumpkin cookies. I got a new cookie jar. I'll show you guys it later. It's so cute. It's like a glass cookie jar. Um, it's not actually a cookie jar. It's just like a glass container from Home Goods. It's so cute. I'll show you later. And then the next thing I got is a candle. Look how gore gorgeous this is the thing about target candles i love is that you can reuse the like holders it comes in this is going to be like a bowl maybe i'll use this as like a serving bowl to put like snacks in just like pumpkin spice i am obsessed with pumpkin right now as you can tell okay and then the last thing i got is just batteries because i needed new batteries for my um what do you call that my salt and pepper shaker the electric one the grinders so from tj maxx we got some beauty things i got makeup wipes and this came in a pack of four it's retinol so that's cool. I love retinol. So yeah, I got some cleansing wipes. I got these foot treatment masks. And I've seen like TikToks of people putting on these masks on their foot and their skin just ex like just coming off for days and days and days. I don't know if this is that type of foot mask. I've used foot masks from like Sephora and it didn't do that. It's just like made your foot really smooth. I don't know, we'll see. But my feet need some treatment and I might do this today because i'm gonna like take a bath later and do my whole like spa routine um and then i also got the bio silk silk therapy this is the leave-in conditioner i got this because i ran out of my way leave-in conditioner which is like my all-time favorite but that's like expensive so i wanted to try a cheaper alternative this one was 9.99 but originally it's 17 dollars bio silk i know is a really good hair brand and the last thing i got from tj maxx is from philosophy it's the citron and sage shampoo shower gel and bubble bath i intend to use this for bubble bath purposes because i ran out of bubble bath so i needed some more and i like philosophy and this smelled really good that's all that i got candles and random beauty things from tj maxx what else is new in my life so um okay i'm going to probably go clean now i need to change my bed sheet so yeah okay i'm gonna put all this stuff away and then i'll check with you guys later I just made the fettuccine 
Alfredo from Trader Joe's. Honestly, the portion of it was really small. It's not enough for two people because I made it for me and Anto, and I feel like it's not enough for both of us. Are you calling me fat? No, I'm just saying like like I'm I'm calling myself fat because I I wish I had more. But it still looks good, and it smells good. Do you like it? So good. Mm. I added more cheese and cream to it. It's all good. That's good. But next time, I need to buy two bags. Yeah. Or any more. There's not enough. Wow. Fresh dough, fresh cheeses. It's a good starting size. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm about to try the foot power peeling mask. I don't know if it'll give me results like right away, but maybe in a few days I can do like a follow up and let you guys know how it is. But yeah, we're gonna do this right now. I'm nervous. Like I hope it doesn't hurt. Has anyone done a foot peeling mask where like your whole like all your skin just like falls off. I'm kind of excited though because I kind of need that. I feel like it's like been long overdue. So okay, yeah, we're gonna try this and I'll let you guys know what happens. Okay, so the masks are on. This is what it looks like. And I'm supposed to keep it on for 30 minutes. So while I wait for my feet to peel, I'm going to journal and meditate. And this is something I try to do every single day, but on Sundays I kind of do it a little bit differently. Whereas I think of it more as a weekly basis. I journal every single day. And when I journal every day, I kind of do like a recap of my day. Like, oh, this is how the day went. And this is how I felt about today. And, that, you know, today was either great or bad. And this is what I think I should do differently tomorrow. Whereas on Sunday nights, I like to journal and just talk about my whole entire week and what I want to happen this week. And like I said earlier, you know, my goals for this week, what I want to accomplish this week and, you know, just, just what I want to happen and like come from this week um, and just like manifest my week. So yeah, we journal every Sunday and we're going to do that. And then I'm going to do a little bit of mindfulness. And this is the same book I've used for like years, maybe like a couple years. Um, but this has 75 essential meditations to help reduce stress improve mental health and kind of find peace in every day so Sunday nights I focus more on like finding peace because I'm not really stressed on Sundays I mean I do have the Sunday scaries but I focus more on like just being very calm and very zen and finding my inner peace so that's kind of my main goal with meditating and then after I do all this I plan out my week and that actually really helps calm me down I'll check in with you guys after that recently gave my nightstand a little makeover so I basically put this vase here that I got from Target for three dollars in the dollar section and they do still have it in store because I did go to Target today as you guys saw and I saw it there still so that was three dollars and then I have these fake baby breaths that I got from Amazon I showed this in my Amazon home decor and then we have all of my essentials my lotion that's my body lotion from aloe and then my deep pillow spray for my pillow before I go to sleep and then my CeraVe healing ointment for my dry eczema prone hands and then I have this little canister from Target that I keep my like essentials like my TV remote pen for when I journal my glasses my chapstick and then my little coaster and then I have my little bowl here so this is for like my jewelry my hair ties things that I'm like wearing when I'm in bed that I need to take off. So if I have hair ties on my wrist, I like hate the feeling of that. So I always take it off and put it in this bowl. When I'm wearing like, rings, earrings, bracelets, anything that's like bothering me while I'm sleeping, like necklaces, I take it off while I'm in bed and I throw it in here because usually I will just like leave it scattered on my nightstand and it's so unorganized. So I got this little glass bowl. I got this from the thrift shop for 79 cents. Isn't that crazy? It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. That's like so vintage. I love this style. You guys, you need to go to your local thrift shop to find like hidden treasures. That's that. And then I have this candle that I just picked up from Zara. I went to Zara a couple days ago and they have their whole line of like soaps and lotion and candles. This is the first thing I've bought from that line. And yeah, it's their candle. It's called 
you know what i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that but it smells so so good it smells like kind of like men's cologne it smells amazing and i love the aesthetic of it it's just like a plain white candle with this little label it's so pretty it smells so good and then i have my journal and my ipad here which are like my two essentials i use every single day my journal i write in here every single day my ipad i use like pretty much all the time so yeah that's my nightstand and then i have my eye mask i cannot sleep without an eye mask I do not sleep well with any type of light, so I need to wear an eye mask at all times. It's been 30 minutes. I just removed the masks from my feet, and initial thoughts, my feet do feel super soft right now, um, but I'm guessing that I just have to wait for the four days that the packaging says for the dead skin to come off, but already my feet feel really soft, so at least like that's a bonus. So I'm going to go ahead and and my night, it's about 9.30 right now, and I want to get to bed by 10 so I can have a nice early morning and get enough sleep tonight. So right now I'm going to be using my app to change the colors of my light bulbs. We're going to do red because red helps like relax and it helps, you know, get benefits. I'll link these light bulbs in my description. I always talk about them and I literally love them. I use my dream sleep pillow spray i'm gonna spray this all over my bed right now and i also take my sleepy gummies not every night but like when i am like kind of wired and i know that i am not sleepy but i need to go to bed right now i will take my ollie sleep gummies so i'll probably take one tonight usually it says to take two but i usually just take one um and i do not do this every single night i do this probably like maybe like once or twice each week only when I feel like I really need it. And Sundays I like to take this because it really just helps me go to sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will link everything that I talked about in this video in my description. So go check it out. And also don't forget to check out HelloFresh and my coupon code. All of that information will be linked in my description as well. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.